I'm not even sure you can hear me over this, but these are cicadas in the trees. They are so loud here. Everything's louder here. We're moving on from Hawaii today, and um, when I give these names of places, I understand that maybe you don't know really where they are, and they mean they mean a lot more to us than they do to you. But um, that's in. We're still in central Vietnam, and we're riding up today to the bottom of the demilitarized zone that was set up between North and South Vietnam. So that's going to be quite an interesting area. This place here looks, I guess that's just war damage. It was a bomb school that they've kept as a monument. I uh, study at the Mukam Brahmi School up there. Oh, and um, you know, uh, you've been here? Um, you know the fort have a name, it's far? Yeah. It's good? Is it it's good? good, yeah, we like it. And um, you know bread in Vietnam? Red. Yeah, uh, it's not Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your English is very good. Um, I, um, yes, but, uh, but, um, I want to, uh, talk to Um, when I, uh, probably speaking, uh, somebody like me, but somebody don't like me. So... We're in Dong Ha, which is at the bottom of the DMZ, as it was known, the demilitarized zone during the war. And that's why people come here to explore where the war all kicked off. And I just noticed this on the bottle of water in the room that they've put USA Technology. It's a bottle that's it's definitely made in Vietnam here, but USA Technology. I wonder if that's just a kind of a sending a statement of Hey, you know, we're all good. Everybody's everybody's friends. This is our room. They've actually let us uh, bring the bikes into this room, which is nice. And uh, pretty standard affair. Wet room. And old school room. It's nice enough, but pretty old school. Very old school mattress. And um, breakfast coupons. This is the first hotel we have breakfast coupons in, so let's see what that's like. So this is how crazy the Vietnamese language is. I'm typing something in here to try and translate it, which is on the side of a bottle. So far I've written what I can see there. Th then it, th that tells me at the moment it says retain flavour. It's a food item, so that makes sense. I'm going to keep going. B-I... All of a sudden now, that phrase means the future. I'll keep going. Now it means how do you know? An apt question at this point. Um, next letter is an N. It suddenly has changed. <laughs> so this whole thing now means how old are you? Um, and now I've added an H and it's how to make money. It changes the entire sentence. How are you ever supposed to learn a sandwich? And I, I... Oh, we're back to how old are you, temporarily. How long does it take? We've got a new one there, now. Back to how to make money again, space. And it's a C. How to make money, it's standing firm with that. Yep, it likes that a lot. How to make money. And then N, U. This is on a water bottle. Oh. <laughs> so we've, we've switched to what's new. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Have to make money from the Nuo. From the... Not... Ah, there you go. So what, uh, in the end, what it meant was, what is the future of the country? Google says, did you mean this? I want to see what that is. Ah! <laughs> this feast here cost about a pound. For the whole lot. Travel's about learning to look at things through different eyes. It's so easy to think of things in the way that we know them and look at things through our eyes, but there's a lot of different ways of looking at things and what might seem normal to us 
completely different to someone else. Just following that uh, picture frame salesman out of town this morning. We're leaving Dong Ha and heading up to Dong Hoi. And um, if all these place names sound the same to you, then they certainly sound the same to us. But um, we're going to see one of the key points in the American Vietnam War today. We're going to go to the crossover point, the former divide between North and South Vietnam. a memorial to the post office, the postal service, or I guess the messengers during the war. And, um, it's next to a post office here. So what the Americans desperately tried to do, we're about to do. Enter North Vietnam, that's the bridge ahead of us. And this, I believe, is the former border, the reunification border. This is the old bridge here, with a monument at the end of it. And this is the new bridge here. I'm not sure which of them is the reunification bridge, but... It's almost a chill in the air here. You can just feel what went down. Yeah, the flag flapping in the wind. Yeah. Since we crossed into North Vietnam, over that river, the people have been so, so friendly. Like we've had people, young and old, shouting hello at us and waving from cars. And we just stopped here for some mango now. We're just coming into Dong Hoi now, and this is the first big town above the reunification bridge, and it's beautiful. really like the look of this town and the people. I feel like in that video that we made, I just feel like we spoke too soon right now because everyone has been so friendly, saying hello, even the older, even the older folks. It's pretty amazing. Here we are in Dong Hoi, getting some grub and um, yeah, definitely as we, light is a bit better to make, definitely as we cross that, um, that bridge, things changed. Yeah, it's Please like change. a whole new world. It's uh, the people, like, it's just felt instantly more friendly. Like, people are saying hello to us. Yeah, like we doing were doing things for us. Like, we, we're not, we haven't been having that friendliness. So it feels different, definitely feels different. Yeah, like when we stopped to get water, there wasn't en enough water in a bottle to fill three of our bottles. So he just took the other one away and filled it from their supply. Yeah. Oh, here comes our food. Oh. That looks good. Come on. Thank you. This is typically what you get here in these um, jai places. Yeah. You just get some rice and a whole bunch of a veggies. It's very nice. It is, so. Yeah. This plate usually costs about like 50p or something. <laughs> so it's brilliant. So yeah, um, feels like a different world on this side. Mm. Uh, now we're in North Vietnam and yeah, it's Seems like great, a good... isn't it? There was something else that we noticed that was different. What's that? In the hotel or something, wasn't it? That's well, probably to do with yeah. the friendliness again. Yeah, they but just. That's the main thing we noticed. You feel like you trust them more. You feel yeah. like they're going to charge you a fair price. They have like now. A, an openness to them mm. um, that they didn't have in. Oh, the passports. They didn't the take our passports. Yeah, away. just a bit more of a sort of. We feel more trusting, more friendly overall. Yeah, and people, people are saying hello to us and... Of all ages, of all ages. Here comes our... Thank you. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> yeah, we're just... Right. The people of all ages, like the older ones as well. It's, it's really nice. It's yeah. really friendly. So... Let's eat some grub. Yeah.
Oh. Come on, thank you. Here's a soup. Oh, nice. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you very much. Very nice. Okay. Wow. Come on. <laughs>